Hey guys, so this is the tutorial for the goblets. Um, so I have my goblet finished right here. So I'm just going to show you kind of what it looks like. This is uh, what I did. You can do any design that you wish to do. So we're going to go ahead and go through what's in your kit and then we're just going to get started. Okay, let's go. So let's go through what's actually in your kit. So we're going to give you one of these packets of acrylic paint with two paint brushes. You're going to get a quarter pound of black oven baked Sculpey clay. Uh, we're going to give you um, a couple of alcohol swabs and these are to wipe down your glass. Um, when you're putting down the clay, you don't want the natural oils from your hands to be on your glass. So we recommend that you clean these. And one way you can do it is by using the alcohol and to just rub the glass down. So while you're working with the clay, try not to get your handprints on your glass because you want this to be clean. We're going to give you one of these little sticks um, for just sculpting your clay. Um, these have a sharp end and a, a flat end. Um, so yeah, these will uh, come in handy when you're working on these. You're going to get one of these little condiment cups with um, Mod Podge. So this is dishwasher safe uh, glossy Mod Podge. So we are going to use this on our very last step after you've oven baked the clay, after you've painted it, after your paint has dried, you will use this to seal all of the spots where you painted. We're also going to give you one of these little cups here. And what you're going to get in that is, um, this is a Sculpey adhesive for oven baked clay. Okay, so that is everything that's going to be in your kit. So for mom and dad and some of your older guys, a word of caution, this black clay will stain everything. Your clothes, you'll get it on your hands, you'll have to get it washed off. It will stain your surfaces. Uh, I am going to be using a couple of these pieces of paper while I'm actually working on the clay. Uh, you can put down butcher paper or an old tablecloth uh, just so that you know mom and dad don't get upset they probably don't want black uh, stains all over your table okay so let's go ahead and get started so just because I like to think ahead before I start any of these projects I, I just drew a quick glass here and I'm just going to work out in my head how I'm going to do this um, I'm thinking about something that's very earthy maybe some ivy or maybe a tree that goes around uh, the glass itself. So what I'll probably end up doing is taking a bunch of the clay and completely covering the whole bottom part and then of course covering uh, the neck of the cup as well. And then from there I think I will probably make um, some vines that kind of slither around this and then maybe end up here, maybe make some tree roots down on the bottom. And then of course, uh, I think I'll go ahead and just put some up here and kind of wind it around, um, put some pretty leaves, you know, on there. Oh, that's a horrible leaf that looks like a peanut. Let's try another leaf. You know, something like that. And, uh, and then I will uh, use my little sculpting tool here to sort of put some veins in the leaf and then maybe on the, the vine itself. Um, maybe put some score markings on it so that it looks weathered. And uh, I think that's what I will end up doing with my glass. So just kind of work it out in your head how you want this to look. Um, I would not put too much clay around the rim of your cup. Uh, you want a spot where you can actually put your lips in and drink out of this thing. So I think that's what I'm gonna go for and I'm gonna go ahead and get my clay open and go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm just going to speed up the video now. Uh, you don't really need a whole lot of instruction for uh, putting the clay down, but if I have something important to say, I'll go ahead and let you know and I'll stop the video and tell you.
So I've decided that I'm also going to give you guys one of these yellow sponges and what I'm going to end up doing with these is getting them wet and I'm going to start using them to smooth down um, all the ridges and bumps. One thing you want to do is once you paint these, if you've got fingerprints all over your clay, it's going to show. So yeah, use the sponge, uh, dip it in some water, which you can't see, but I am dipping mine in a glass of water. And then you can use it uh, to um, smooth everything down. So that's what I'm probably going to use this for. Hopefully this works. Um, so let's see how well we do. If you're afraid of your uh, clay starting to dry, you can always get it wet with the sponge. It will be fine. But let's hope that this wet sponge will uh, smooth out any fingerprints that I have left behind. So I'm just going to give it a few passes and let's hope that uh, that starts smoothing it out a little bit better. And as you can see, my sponge is already starting to turn black. Now because mine is going to be earthy and like a tree, if there's bumps in this, I'm not going to really matter. It's not going to matter to me. If you're going for something more fancy, like a royal goblet, um, you'd probably want to try to get this as smooth as possible so that it looks a little bit fancier. So I am going to start making the vines and the leaves that are going to go around the top of my glass. And I'm going to grab another one of those alcohol swabs and work on uh, getting this clean. And then from now on when I need to lift this, I'm just going to put my fingers inside the cup and hold it like this so that I'm not actually touching the outside of uh, the cup. So yeah, you can hold them like this um, while you're working and that should be fine. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and speed the video back up. So, after reading a little bit more about this stuff, it does recommend that you bake the clay first. So, I think what I'm going to end up doing, I'm going to recommend to you guys, is to go ahead and bake the clay. Um, and then if you have any pieces that didn't stick, I would suggest you, you know, carefully peel it off, put some of this glue on it, and then just press it back down. If you have any of your clay pieces that come off. Um, I would suggest if you have... Uh, an old paintbrush or if you want to try to use one of the paintbrushes that we give you in the kit to put the paint on that's totally legit uh, just make sure that you wash the, the glue off right away so that you can still use these paintbrushes to paint if you have any old paintbrushes from any previous craft kits that you have you know go ahead and use that if you have any at home use that um, toothpicks uh, q-tips should work okay um, you might even be able to put some of the glue on the stick here and just rub it on. That should probably work as well. So yeah, I'm going to actually glue stuff down after I bake it. So I'm going to continue putting on um, my leaves and then I'm going to use my little stick here to start um, carving into the clay. 
And as I've been putting this on the side, I've noticed that the clay down at the bottom has gotten banged up a little bit. So I'll just keep pressing this down to uh, hide any of that. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward the video again and we'll go ahead and put on the leaves. Okay, so I have the bulk of my clay on my glass, and as you see, I still have a ton of clay left, so you shouldn't have any problems um, having enough clay to finish this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just make some vines that are going to wrap around the, the neck of the glass, and then come down here and maybe make some roots on the bottom.
Okay, so if you haven't quite figured out what I'm doing at this point, um, this is supposed to kind of represent a tree. And what I'm doing is I'm scraping the surface to make it sort of look like bark because, you know, most trees are not very smooth. Uh, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm almost finished. I just got one little bit left here to do. So what I've been doing is as I'm scraping it, I've been going back over with my stick and sort of pressing down on the ridges that, um, you know, scraping the clay creates so that you don't have that that ridge on the on both sides of your bark line. So that's just what I'm doing when I've been pressing down is just uh, pressing it back down just a tiny bit. And I'll do that for the whole uh, glass. All right, so, you know, you can see I still have um, almost half of this brick of clay left, maybe a quarter of that brick of clay left, and there's quite a bit of clay on this glass. Um, so, yeah, you shouldn't have any problem with the amount of clay that you got, um, you know, doing whatever kind of design you want to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this air dry for a little while. Later tonight, I'm going to oven bake it. And I'm not going to actually show you, you know, putting it into the oven and taking it back out and all that. Um, I will put on the screen um, right now some instructions. You want to make sure that when you put the glass in your oven, you put it upside down. Uh, you don't want the actual clay down here at the bottom to be touching the rack in your oven. So put it upside down. Make sure that it's stable, that it's not going to fall over. You want to put the glass in before you turn on the oven. So the best thing to do, put your glass in the oven, upside down, turn your oven on to 275 degrees, and the instructions on the Sculpey is for every um, quarter of an inch is 15 minutes. So I do have some parts on here that might be roughly a half of an inch thick, especially here where I've overlapped some of these tree bark, or sorry, these uh, the tree trunk here. So what I'll end up doing is baking this at 275 for 30 minutes. So what you want to do, put the glass in the oven, turn your oven on, and then once the oven's temperature is at 275 degrees Fahrenheit, then you want to start your timer. So um, after your time is up, you want to turn the oven off and you do not want to open the oven. You want to let the glass stay in the oven and slowly over time cool down because the quick changes in temperature for the glass could end up um, cracking your glass. So you want to be very careful not to heat or cool your glass too quickly. So again, Put your glass in the oven, then turn it on to 275 degrees. After your temperature has reached that temperature, or sorry, after your oven has reached the temperature of 275 degrees, then you start your timer. It is 15 minutes for every quarter inch thick of Sculpey. And so for mine, I'm going to do 30. After my 30 minutes are up, I'm going to turn off the oven. I'm going to leave the door shut and I'm going to let the glass cool slowly over time. After that is over, um, I will paint the outside of the glass and let the paint dry and then seal it with the, uh, the Mod Podge that you're gonna get. Okay, so this is where I'm gonna stop for now and then um, I will oven bake this, bring it back and we'll paint it up and then um, I will show you how to seal it. Okay, so yeah, I think it's going to turn out pretty cool. I'm liking this. It's really neat. Okay, guys, see you in a bit. Okay, so this is the next day. Um, I went home and I oven baked my goblet. Um, fingers crossed. I was praying to the crafting gods big time that this wouldn't crack in the oven. Uh, it seemed to work very well. The, uh, the clay is now baked. It looked like it sticks very nice to the glass. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to get out uh, my paints 
that I had from another project that I did with you guys, so I saved them. And I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So since this is, you know, earthy, I'm probably going to be using a lot of earth tones. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started and fast forward the video. And I do believe that I'm probably going to um, do probably the bottom first and work my way up. I haven't decided yet. Uh, I just want to uh, make sure that where I have somewhere to touch the glass while I'm working on it. Alright. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna, uh, well, no, I'm gonna do the green first. Alright.
So I've got the first layer of the green on and you probably can't see it in the camera, but it's a little spotty in places, you can see there. Uh, so I will definitely be going over this again with another layer of green. And then later I'm going to hit some of this black with the uh, brown, and then I might try dry brushing on a lighter color green to give it some more depth. But I don't really think you need to watch me uh, paint the whole thing. So once you have your goblet painted and the paint is fairly dry, then you're going to want to go ahead, grab this little cup here that's in the plastic bag. This is the dishwasher safe Mod Podge. Even though it is dishwasher safe, I really don't recommend you guys ever putting these in the dishwasher. It's probably better just to hand wash them. Um, don't scrub really hard. I mean, cause you know, this is paint and scrubbing will definitely get through the layers of paint over time. So soft sponges, hand wash, the cellar, the uh, dishwasher safe Mod Podge. We'll just keep the color on there from washing off, but definitely don't put these in the dishwasher. So after you get all of your paint on your goblet, what you're gonna wanna do is grab this little cup in the Ziploc bag. This is the um, dishwasher safe Mod Podge that I showed you um, at the beginning of the video. There is definitely more than enough in here that you need. Um, I had only put one coat on this so far and there's still a ton of mine left over. So if you wanna do two coats, that's totally doable. Um, if you get any of it on the glass and you don't want it on the glass, um, that little stick that I gave you, you could scrape it off. I also found out that with that little stick, if you get any paint on the glass that you don't want, that little stick scrapes it right off after it dries, so that worked really well. So um, I'm not going to just bore you by painting on a coat of Mod Podge. Um, but So that's what I did already. It gave it a nice little shine to it, and so it is now all finished. So I think it turned out quite well, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. This was a lot of fun. Okay, bye.